An immigrant from Ukraine who arrived here less than a month ago has already made a mark on his Long Island community. As CBS 2's Carolyn Gussoff reports, he saved a life when a car plunged into a canal last month. You're now a new hometown hero. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. A hometown hero who hails from a world away. Vladimir Zubko fled war in Ukraine. Four days later, he was on the front line of a different kind of crisis outside his Freeport rental. I look at the window and I saw a car in the water. A car had sped into a canal, flipped over, and was quickly sinking. A lot of people on, uh, in this next. Uh, in, and on the boat, uh, just uh, screaming, help somebody, help somebody, uh, bring, but, but nobody uh, jumped to the water. I don't have time to think, and I just uh, uh, dress out my T-shirts and then jump to the marine to save him. Save him he did. Within seconds, police and rescue arrived to find Zuko in the canal, pulling the unconscious driver out by the legs. There's a lot of civilians standing around pointing, but he actually dove in and made, made all the difference in the world. Zuko says he had no friends when he came to this country. That quickly changed. Everybody uh, say hi on, on, on the road, on market, so on. So I really appreciate it and thank you so much. And for his heroism, awards poured in. You truly are a hero. This is a country of immigrants, mm -hmm. and you are instantaneously a role model. And I'd like to say you have made a real splash in our community. <laughs> <laughs> Along with job offers. If you don't, your career doesn't work out in computers, come see us. There's a Nassau County police test coming out soon. We're getting him an application for the fire department also. <laughs> Everything possible. <laughs> a humble hero says it was just a matter of... Right place and right time, too. Yeah, it's something like karma. The rescue driver is still hospitalized, having ingested a lot of salt water, but alive, thanks to a man who jumped off of the sidelines and into the hearts of this community. On Long Island, Carolyn Gossoff, CBS 2 News. Four days after getting here. Oh, my goodness. Amazing. Wow.